How serene can they float in an overturned tempest? How clear are the air lanes for geese over volcanoes? Flamingos appear merely incongruous after the sand's drawn scorches. James Broughton, or Jimmy as we called him, uh, was associated with the Playhouse as a playwright. And uh, his good friend, ec excellent good friend, Kermit Sheets, was the director of the Playhouse. James often came around to watch our rehearsals of plays that weren't his. He just came around because he liked watching theater being uh, done. He's just the sweetest guy in the world and had a marvelous, picture sense of humor. He, uh, and very soft-spoken, of course, naturally. He had us all out to his house once, the cast of Undine, out in um, Stinson Beach. Charming little, little cottage, really, not house. And, and uh, it was lovely. Mostly I remember it was a presence. Aside, of course, from the playwright. And, of course, I was familiar with the movies. The um, Pleasure Garden, which was, I think, one of the greatest movies I ever saw, which, of course, starred Kermit and had the famous uh, married couple, of, uh, British married couple of Hattie Jack and John Le Measurer, as I think it's come to be pronounced. Uh, and of course Kermit was in it, and it was just an unbelievably charming, wonderful film. If I recall, I saw it before I had ever met James. And so uh, I, I was prepared for somebody whose thinking was not quite uh, standard, to say the least. The Playhouse, uh, essentially under Kermit, was set up to show good plays with good casts and good production values. And the production values were magnificent. Well, number one, you didn't expect there to be total cohesion. In a play by James Broughton, you didn't expect it to be beginning, middle, and end the way other uh, you know, Aristotelian uh, setups uh, are. His was a, a, a more like uh, scenes from the life of kind of thing. Uh, and uh, as such, they were, uh, I think, a little more of a challenge for an actor because you don't get to say, well, I was this in Act One, so I can be that as a, as a carry on from Act One. You had to sort of treat each scene as a, a, an entity. And, uh, but it was, didn't bother James. I would, I would say to him, you know, I'm not quite sure how I get from here to there. And he said, don't bother. It's all right. Just do at the time what you're doing and it works. And that's what I did and it worked. Kermit gave, gave the direction, but he was always in consultation. He sat with Kermit in the, uh, you know, in the vacant seats in the theater and they would sit and confer and Kermit would give a direction and uh, then they would confer again and then Kermit would give a direction. And that's basically the way. James himself, I think he made a few suggestions, uh, which uh, uh, always were, you know, just right on top. I mean, exactly right. Uh, kind of things. But normally he deferred to Kermit, who was, after all, an experienced director. Oh, no, no. It was totally amateur. All, all amateur. Some of the scenic people, people who design scenery, may have gotten some pay because they were, you know, artists and that was their field. But the actors, no. No. And when I directed the what ultimately became uh, Falstaff and the Merry Wives. Uh, you know, I was both, I, I was then an, a, a director, having had been an actor, never, never was there any money. Whether or not Kermit and James were lovers is, you know, I don't know, but I would be surprised. Yeah, that's what I would say. I, I wouldn't be surprised. Probably by the time I came along, they were ex-lovers, but still good friends. But uh, and indeed, very good friends. But yeah, I would, I wouldn't, as I say, it wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me in the least bit that they might have been. Theater people are pretty open minded. Now, you have to be. An awful lot of theater people were gay. And, you know, your friends were gay, and uh, their friends were your friends because they were their friends. And so, uh, theater people are very open minded, very open minded. Um, Indeed, you often wondered if a particular person was or wasn't because, you know, nobody came out and said, I am.
they you know they revealed it in one subtle way or another but um but no it didn't bother theater people at all not at all getting back together after all these years well it's been wonderful norma who is now running the thing more or less uh, she picks the plays and the scenes they're scenes really they're not plays she picks the scenes and she casts them it seems to work out very nicely. She knows, well, she cast this thing today, and it seems to me that the right people had the right parts, as far as I could tell. In a way, there, there's a sadness to it, because, of course, many of our comrades are no, no longer around. And so there's that, you know. But aside, like Jane and Kermit, for instance, uh, and James. But um, it's wonderful to see old, old friends, friends that were your friends 50 years ago. There's a niceness to that. We're all in our 70s and 80s now, and uh, it's it's great getting together and uh, remembering each other. There's a kind of patina of memory that you see your contemporaries as they were. At least I do. I look around this group today, and people, I can remember so much when they were young that they seem to come across that way as being young. Uh, I would hope the same thing would go as far as I'm concerned. Way back in those days, I was not bald, and I uh, didn't have a pot belly, and et cetera. So it's nice to know that people can look at you and remember you fondly. That's hard to say, but I'm sure he did, because an awful lot of the San Francisco Renaissance poets that I happen to meet one way or another. And James was known to them and uh, w well admired by them. I can't remember anybody ever having said anything uh, negative about James. Almost everything I've ever come across is, concerning James has been positive. Sometimes kinky positive, but positive. Uh, and that's that's kind of important. Uh, he he was a radiant little guy. I mean, he really was. He was and a charmer. He was a charmer. <laughs>